power play could use a jolt. He's going to bring some tenacity as well. Uh, pay attention to Arvidsson here tonight for L.A. Kopitar with the puck. Starts the game for the Kings with Byfield and Kempe. Ryan Hartman with a shot, and that's gloved by David Riddick. Hartman backhands the puck in. Gavrikov scored a goal last night. With a win over Chicago. A heavy hit there by Felino on Kopitar. Got by Faber, turned aside by Riddick. And Rara with the play there defensively after a breakdown and somebody lost their edge there in the corner. I think it was Lazat. Now a drive by Middleton. Wild have the first three shots in the game. We played five minutes. Now Faber takes it to the boards by Denault. Tipped away from Moore. Held in his own by Fiala. For more, a shot. The turnover by the Wild. Here, right wing boards. Ryan Hartman has it. And he tries to throw a forehand pass, which is shut right down. And this puck is going wide with the hand eye coordination. Fiala with the stop, Moore with the shot, and then the hand of Philip Deneau redirects it into the back of the net. And in talking to Jim Hiller, head coach of here at ice level, that I think maybe wasn't there in that game last night against Chicago. Here's Beckman for Shaw, and the save made by Riddick. Here's the save a moment ago by Riddick. I mean, if there wasn't enough energy already yeah. to start this game, and wow, we'll get, get it jacked up a little bit more. There's Faber with a shot to the side by Riddick. Polito in behind the net, Hartman. Kopitar hits the ice. Polito with the puck for Minnesota. Polito back out for Faber. Faber with a shot covered up by Riddick. Here's Fiala. Back for Dowdy. Now Fiala. Puck across the crease. Here's Fiala once again. To Kopitar. Back to Fiala. Shoots the score! 2-0 Los Angeles. And I mean, just battling in front of the net, drawing attention, and then Fiala walks in. Instead of being out near the blue line, Boo, she recognizes the low coverage by the Wild, and he's able to throw a dart over the glove side of Marc Andre Fleury. Yeah, because the, the three King players were down by the goal mouth, it forced Minnesota to collapse. Now Dowdy kept it away from Zuccarello. Anderson down into the wild zone. Here's Arvidsson. Has the no cutting. Arvidsson cross ice. Deflection by Corbis. And Victor Arvidsson has his first goal of the season. Puck out in midair in the neutral zone. And it slows up enough for Arvidsson to try to get this puck to the net. And it ends up going, as you mentioned, Kenny, off of the left arm. Right there. I don't know. On that look, it didn't look like he got it. But the left part of your screen, Mermis goes down and it goes off his left arm. And it beats Mark andre Fleury. No chance for Fleury. And it is a 3-0 game. But the way Arvidsson's been going here in the first period, Bougie, it was just a matter of time that... He would get rewarded, and that's one of those hard-working, ugly type of goals that Arvidsson seems to find. And I thought Bush made a great point before he we went there. Great, Kenny, is that for Minnesota now, it's like, okay, no more against. Let's just get one. Let's get one here before the end of the period to give ourselves. Bush talked about the open ice. Kaprizov maintains control of the puck. That Chisholm down low. And a save made by Riddick on that. Tough angle attempt by Bogosian. Zuccarello around by field. Penalties expire. And a save by Riddick and then another. Hartman came out of the penalty box and got a great chance. Excellent work there by Zuccarello. Look at his stuff here by Zuccarello. I mean, he's got the 10-2 to 2 going there with his skates. Middleton will get it. And then watch Hartman come in right here. Oh, man, what a chance. And what a stop there by Riddick. Beautiful stop here, Bush. 
Big time save. I mean, that, oh, wow. Come right out of the box. It would have counted, too. Yeah. Now here's Felino lost the puck. Poked away by Kopitar. Kempe clears the zone. Here come the Kings. By field. In front. Score! A quick play through the middle of the ice as the puck takes a fortunate bounce after Byfield is trying to get this puck, I believe, to Kopitar and ends up going off the skate of Faber. And there's Roy, the former seventh round defenseman from Michigan Tech. Beat Mark Andre Fleury, and now it is. Zuccarello was not drafted, has had a terrific NHL career. Bay Bay by Riddick, extra skater on for the Wild. Half minute to go on the power play for the Wild. There's Boldy to the far side, saved by Riddick on Caprizov. Riddick really anticipated that nicely. Now comes to Faber, cross ice, Middleton. Riddick hangs on to it. Boy, Middleton skates right into Riddick there, and he just got my stick from Mikey Anderson. Yep. Here's Middleton, back out, Foligno, far side, got by Johansson, stopped by Riddick. Dubois, the byfield, 25 seconds remaining on the Zuccarello penalty. Here's Deneau for the Kings. Trevor Moore. Now spent to a shot, score! 5-0! Marcus Foligno was so upset that this puck redirected in past his goaltender. That's some height. I mean, another bad bounce. As it goes off of Foligno, he gets it and he takes that puck. And man, oh man, thankfully it did not go into the crowd. And it's just one of those nights right now. As Marc-Andre Fleury is going to get replaced here and... And then there's the play there by Polino. We saw Fleury there as he was heading into the wild locker room. Obviously, a bulk load of frustration there for the future Hall of Famer. You know, so-called dummying the play there to try to get a whistle so the other team can't, you know, finish off their offensive push. Here comes Kaprizov. And a good stick there by Mikey Anderson. Polino picks up the puck. Walks in, involved in a collision with Riddick, and a penalty coming up. Good keep. And Cheney without a stick. Off play by Arvidsson. Below the goal line. A block off for Cup, and he scores! Six, nothing, Los Angeles. Puck ended up in the back of the net. I don't know if it ends up being a power play goal or not. Officially, it is not, but you only got four players on here. Bush, they moved it around. They showed every possible attacking play on the power play, and all five guys were right in the middle of it. Impressive. And, you know, when we talked to Jim Hiller prior to the game, he said one of the areas that Victor Arvidsson was going to help out as well was that. Second power play for the Wild. Here is Zuccarello in with a shot stopped by Riddick. Off the post from Chisholm. Now Zuccarello. Riddick holding on to that right post. Wow, just can't seem to get anything going. Now Caprice oh, right off the drive. Oh. Hit on the mask. Yeah, he can't hit him square on the wow. mask. Zuccarello looking. Now Caprice off along the goal line. He might try to fire this puck up top. Riddick is down early. Place off stick save Riddick. Ruccini hit to the boards by Spence. I like that little wrinkle at the end there, Bruce. I can use that one for a while. Stopped by Hartman, stopped by Riddick. Riddick takes a couple of sticks right out in front of the net as well. Through all that, he's been a consistent force. Stopped by Boldy, handled by Riddick. It's Kopitar's 18th season. And seven plus a goaltender on the LA bench. Yeah, we haven't seen uh, Mark Andre Fleury since getting pulled. And he's taking a seat inside that uh, wild locker room. Nice save there by Riddick on Foligno. 